Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Soya channel. In this video we will discuss tips and tricks that you can use while playing Coral Island. Without further ado let's get started. Crop. In the spring of the first year, planting potatoes will be very useful for your financial stability. After you get enough money, move on to plant radish after you can make mason jars. By placing radishes in a mason jar, you will make pickled radishes with larger ones. In the month of summer plant wheat and enter the harvest into keg. When wheat is put in keg it will change to beer with 24 hours time and make more profit. In fall plant bok choy, you can process bok choy using a keg and mason jar, and of course this will be very profitable for you. Stamina Stamina will run out quickly the first time you start this game. The easiest way to fill it is to take items that you can eat on the way. This will fill your stamina to stay awake. There is also a chest that you can find in the wild and it contains candied tree seeds. You can also make candied tree seeds with one sap and three any tree seeds. To fill this stamina you can also buy sugar in the Sam store. Scarecrow. Scarecrow is very useful for protecting your plant seeds from attacks by crows. Initially you will only be able to create scarecrows that cover a 5x5 five five area, but when farming reaches level 4, you can make an ordinary scarecrow that protects an area of 11x11. 11 11. You can also buy this ordinary scarecrow at Ben's shop. Side. This is a very useful tip but many Coral Island players don't know about this. You can actually harvest easily using your side. All you have to do is pinch the plants and the crops will be released immediately without damaging the plants. This will save a lot of time than harvesting by removing the crops one by one. Sprinklers. Sprinkler will make your game easier. You need 10 scrap, 5 silver kelp and 5 bronze kelp. To get the valve you have to start progress to clean under the sea by diving. Sprinklers can also be installed with additional equipment, namely auto fertilizer or auto seed or even both of these things at once. But you need battery to make it. With this you can really manage your farm with auto. Mason Jar Dan Keg Make mason jars and kegs as soon as you open them when you reach level 3 farming and level 6 farming. You will earn a lot of money by processing your crops in mason jars and kegs. Chest. At the beginning of the game make a chest to organize your things. You can make this chest with 25 wood and 10 trash. Organize your items according to their type, so this will make it easier for you to find them. Such as a chest full of mining items, crops and diving items. At level 4 foraging or level 5 mining, you will be able to create a chest that can contain up to 40 objects. Coral Reef. Did you know for every coral reef you restore, it will add 10 points to your town rank. Try to quickly restore all the existing coral reefs so you can quickly and find lots of kelp, where there are bronze kelp, silver kelp and gold kelp. With this kelp you can make sprinklers and upgrade seed, crop, fruit and hay in the lab. Don't forget to also bring bug nets to catch existing marine life. For some of the existing trash, it requires at least a side so you can only clean it with one swing. You can summon your anchor by pressing the X button. This will make you start from the anchor point on the next day's dive. Fishing. Fishing is an easy way to make money early in the game. Save your money at the start of the game to buy at least an improved fishing pole to make it easier. Currently there are four types of fishing poles, in the four types there are differences in cast length, max tendion, tension recovery, reeling speed and tension strength. After using improved fishing pole try to get lots of fish and sell them. Mining. At the beginning of the game you can start mining to get new additional income. Open at least until the wind gate and fire gate, because at the wind gate you can find gold that is sold in units of 100 gold. And for the fire gate, you can find osmium ore with a unit price of 300 gold. This will be a lot of money. Mining has four gates, where the earth gate contains bronze ore, the water gate contains silver ore, the wind gate contains gold ore and the fire gate contains osmium ore. When you have unlocked all the available floors, all you have to do is go to floors 1, 5, 15 and 25. 
Don't forget to pay attention to the cracks you find. Just follow the path of the cracks until you get the existing ore. On this floor has the highest presentation of spawn ore and to streamline your mining time. Ring. Rings can really help you, especially in terms of mining, because there are rings that make your movements faster. You can find another ring in the boss hideout, you can find the boss location which is next to Kira and Jack's house. There are also several updates such as Seuss shield, sword, spear and hammer. Trash. Trash is a very valuable item on Coral Island. One important item that we can make with trash is scarf. Scarf is one of the supporting items for making several tools. You can get trash the easiest way by cleaning the ocean when diving. Another way to get trash is to open all the trash cans around the city. Sometimes you can even get other valuable items. Bugs. Bugs are an important element in increasing your town rank by donating bugs to the museum. Some types of bugs also have a fairly high price when sold. When catching bugs there are several ways you can try, namely by approaching slowly or using a dash. Apart from that, you also use scent, which you can craft yourself. Make sure the scent you use is not wrong. Besides using scent, the easiest way to catch bugs is to use traps. There are two types of traps, namely traps for ground insects and traps for flying insects. Make sure to place this trap not in the path of the walking NPC because the trap will disappear the next day. You can also buy better bug nets thereby increasing your net's catching radius. Fast Travel You can use Fast Travel on Coral Island. To activate it you must at least complete the spring offerings. The more you complete the offerings, the more fast travel will open. Will even open a hot spring that is very useful to restore stamina. You can open fast travel near the Sam store after completing the quest from Sam about local products. You can fast travel near the beach by catching at least 50 fish that are available by fishing. Fast travel in the forest cavern will open when you reach level 10 in the earth mine. Fast travel at lookout will be unlocked when you complete at least two offerings at the lake temple. Fast travel near blacksmith is unlocked when you catch 50 bugs with the bug net. Fast travel in Giant Village opens when you finish Earth Mine and Water Mine. Town Rank Town Rank increases based on total points the player accumulates doing rank activities. The Town Rank points are divided into four categories. Museum points earned for museum donations. Ocean points earned for restoring corals and other actions while diving. Heritage points earned for completing temple offerings, and fame points earned for variety of other actions and achievements. The average donate museum gets 3 points. To heal coral get 10 points. The higher the town rank you have, the more things you can buy. Like rank F. Rank F is the starter rank. The player has access to basic vegetable crops from Sam. The rancher Jack sells chickens and cows. Joko the Carpenter can build co-op and mill at the farm. By reaching rank E, the player unlocks fruit seeds and more vegetable crop seeds from Sam. The Rancher Jack starts selling ducks and sheep. Joko the Carpenter can now build barn and silo. By reaching rank D, the player unlocks more fruit and vegetable crop seeds at Sam's. The Rancher Jack starts selling goats. And Joko can now build level 2 co-op and barn. More new furniture and clothing are also available. By reaching rank C, the player unlocks some fall and winter seeds, fruit trees and large-sized bags at Sam's. The Rancher Jack starts selling pigs and quails. Joko can now build level 3 co-op and barn. More new furniture and clothing are also available. After the player reaches rank B, Jack starts selling peafowl. Joko can now build fish pond and upgrade the farmhouse to level 3. Ling grants access to seed splicing. More new furniture and clothing are also available. Upgrade tools. You can upgrade your tool in Sanchez Blacksmith. You can upgrade such as scythe, axe, hoe, pickaxe and watering can. Here it is clearly written what materials you should bring when you want to upgrade the tools. I prefer not to upgrade the watering can and hoe because for now it's not really necessary. Bug nets and fishing poles cannot be upgraded here. You can only upgrade them by buying them at the beach shack. Secret shop. 
At night you can find Rati opening her secret shop next to the lighthouse. There are many artifacts that we can buy from this secret shop, to speed up our donations to the museum. Enchant tool. Enchant your tool to add abilities in it, but you have to finish the earth mine and save the earth giant first. After that you can enchant in giant village. Several types of enchantments, such as the chance for no water to drain from a watering can, chance to destroy debris in one hit, and many more. Cooking. By upgrading your house to level 2, you will open a kitchen that will really help you. Buy some equipment, but what you should buy the most is the grill. With grill you can make bug jerky which only need one bug and can fill one hundreds of your energy. With the grill you can also make smoke fish and can fill one hundred of your energy. This will be very useful. You can also get some gift items by cooking. Gifts. You actually don't have to worry too much about giving good gifts to the villagers at the start of the game. Just find some flowers and give it to them. You can roll the flowers you get to give to other people on different days. You can also give coconuts which you can get for free around town in summer. Clover. Clovers are special tiles that appear on the island's main map every week. The player can dig these spots out with a hoe to obtain a variety of items. Clover spots appear on the map every Monday and last a whole season or before the player digs them out. From Clover you can get several items such as books, fossils, corn, forgeables and more. Shop opening and closing times. If you forget or don't even know the shop's opening and closing times, you can check the board next to the shop. Or you can open the map and see directly from there. Festival. When there is a festival in the next few days, an announcement will be displayed on the festival board. The location is next to the town hall. For the festival date you can check on the town board near the Sam store or buy a calendar from Dinda. Maybe that's all we can discuss. What do you think? See you in the next video.